Hey Jonathan here at Top Sauce. Today I'm going to go over the Petzl Chicane and use this with the Petzl Zigzag. Um, I have the Zigzag and I've been using it on double rope technique and now I'm going to integrate the Chicane in there and try it on single rope technique. <laughs> Okay, here's a pretzel chicane. Safety manual, should always read that. Goes right there. This pivots up. Oh, two fingers. And then the rope goes that way and up. And then locks in place. Then this clips to the top of the zigzag. So they say a special carabiner to fit through here to your zigzag. Is this a how-to video or a training video? This is just kind of my first impressions in getting this equipment. Uh, I did a video on the Petzl Zigzag Plus, which is this tool right here. And in that review, I, I kind of said it really changed my whole outlook in climbing. Then I got a ton of comments that you really need to go to a single rope technique for going up and you can still use double rope technique coming down but um, you should go to single rope technique. So I bought a chicane and I was going to kind of start integrating that into my system. Before I do that I'll just go over the double rope technique. So this rope goes up around the crotch back into itself it goes in here. You should have a splice end here. Potentially that knot can affect the, the zigzag and undo it. Um, I don't have a splice end with me right now to do that. So this is how it works right now. This is a single line now at the top. Here's a chicane. These two buttons lock to open it up. One thing is you have to have one of these H style carabiners to use it. it that's the only carabiner that will fit in that hole. Then this takes a bite on the rope. Gives you more resistance. that locks it in there. So that goes up. There's the zigzag. And this carabiner locks in here. That's kind of the whole setup right there. Um, to go down, you still just pull here. And it's a little more of a slow descent. To go up, you could use this as a handle to go up and climb the rope with your feet. I have my zigzag. A chicane. I have a Gibbs foot ascender. And I like locking that in with a carabiner. And I have my saw tied on for weight. Certainly first use, not overly impressed, a lot of work. Okay, that first try didn't go too well. Added a few more pieces into the whole puzzle here. My zigzag with the chicane. I now have a chest harness. Um, that actually really improved it a lot. And a knee ascender that hooks up to that chest harness. So I have an ascender on my left knee a foot ascender on my right foot, knee ascender hooks to the chest harness and it draws it up a little bit better. So th this climb goes a little bit better but still not perfect but I guess all these things really take a little bit of practice. So you can see here I'm working but it's, it's going better than the first try. Uh, the next tree at this job I'm going to just um, time lapse video and I'm getting a little bit better. Uh, 
but it's still not smooth. A little more work still required, a little more practice. All right, been climbing on single rope technique for a while. It's going much better now uh, that I got a little experience on it. Used my big shot set up at the top of this oak right here and pulled my rope through. And then from here, this is my climbing end, my working end right here. I'm going to tie a alpine butterfly here. I take a loop, another loop, draw this around and through. So my alpine butterfly. This is going to be my base anchor. my working end I'll climb up on this and then I can retrieve the rope on this one a little stick got caught in there here's my zigzag I have a review on this this is a knee ascender I do have these Arbor Pro boots which are cool so you could just click right here and then I have a foot ascender right here Right there. Right there. By no means is this a how to video. This is just kind of a first test on a product. So don't do any of this unless you've been trained by a professional, gone through an internship. Put in there. Just walk right up the rope. Okay, so I'm climbing up here. It's gotten a lot better than the first few tries. I do have a few more trees under my belt, but still relatively new to this whole line walking on a single rope technique, but I do like it. I do like it a lot. You can see it's really not too much work like it was in the first few times. I guess it always takes a while to get, get a system figured out. So I'm taking the top off of that oak but at the same time, I might as well knock out some of that dead wood out of that little fir tree right there. So, um, using my handsaw, my Zubat handsaw, to take out some of that dead wood out of that little fir tree. Just about at the top there, and now we go to the drone. Um, so there's the drone. And it's kind of hard to see me through there, but as he goes up a little higher, you can see the top of that oak I'm knocking out. You'll see it here in a second just pop off. Um, and the whole reason of that is to open up a view, like a little corridor through the trees to look out to the mountains from the homeowner's um, deck. So there I am. I'm actually standing on that teeny little fir so I could get the top of the oak out. So I was using a Still 360T with the 25 inch bar as a lightweight bar. Um, pretty small little fur I'm standing on, but I was also roped into the yoke a little bit lower. And then here I am just doing one more big dead, dead limb on the backside of the tree that you can't see. So I'm both roped on that single line with the chicane and my zigzag. And then I'm also clipped with my flip line into that little fur as my double backup. And then now I'm coming back down. On my way down, I'll probably knock out a few more of those little dead limbs on the duck fur. See how that goes. And um, while I'm thinking of it, if you like this video, um, go ahead and hit like and hit the bell for notifications and subscribe. 
and share it with anybody who might be interested in it. Again, this isn't really a how-to video on using single rope technique. It's really more just my first uses of integrating in the chicane with the zigzag plus from Petzl and kind of the battle to adopt new technologies. I mean, I am kind of slow in adopting new technologies. It took me a while to get that zigzag into my working protocol, but uh, I really like it a lot and I really like this chicane a lot. I think all said and done, I think on smaller trees, I'm gonna stick with the double rope technique and on bigger trees, I'll probably integrate the chicane and the single rope technique more and more. So I do like that base anchor as a tie-in point. Um, I feel a lot safer that way. I like being able to retrieve the rope from the ground. And I also like being able to, to clip off at the top of a tree and retie up there. Coming down on that chicane is really easy, really smooth. Um, all in all, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool technology. I've been doing trees for a long time. Um, and it's a big change from where I started with all of this anodized aluminum mechanical tie-in points instead of just an old piece of rope. So, all right, well, I appreciate you watching. If you've used the chicane, please comment below. I'd like to hear your comments on it. Or if you haven't used the chicane and you're sticking with double rope technique, uh, in the comment section, go ahead and say why you're not ready to go over single rope. That's the top right there. Um, got my saw jam and I'm cutting it free with my little climbing saw. All right, thank you for watching.